Howdy everyone, Mike Aguilar for Student Stock. Uh, check out this image right here. This is a quick how to put clouds in in a shot. That's what we're gonna make it look like. That's the way I photographed it. Here's how you do it. Let's get rid of these clouds. And we're on our main only one layer background. What I need to do is grab that sky. So here's how I do it. Magic wand set at 12. I set it low on purpose. Here's why. Lots of little areas of blue in here. So I want to just pick them as I go. So I'm holding shift and I'm pushing my mouse and I get pretty close down to, it's got almost everything. So the last little part that I leave, I go up to select and similar. And you can see it literally comes in here and, and virtually just about picks everything. Looks pretty good to me. I'm gonna make sure. I'm gonna click one more time for similar, select, similar. I believe I've got it. I now turn that into a layer. And that layer is command J. That's the sky that we've got right here. I'll just move it for you. You see I've got the sky and some part of the trees. And that's okay that I've got the trees because watch what I do. I'm going to look at my foreground color and my background color. My background color I've chosen is white. Foreground color, I want to be this color blue right here. So I grab the eyedropper and I click, you can see, I'm gonna make it red for a second. See how that turned red? Cause I clicked on those flowers. Well, I want it to be this nice blue up here. So I click on that, it shows up right here. I want it to fade to white. I then go onto my layer. It's important you push command and then you click on the layer and you put your mat marching ants back on. That way the effect you're gonna do only affects that area. I then go to filter. Render, clouds, let go, the clouds show up, get rid of the marching ants, and the last thing that's left is to clean up this area right around here that was kind of rough. So I grab my erase tool, I make it soft up here, you can see the hardness is all the way down. That's a good size right there, and I just come along the tree line, and I just erase just right along the tree line. No one will notice, you've got the same colors in there and you're just cleaning up where the, these little areas that were close to the tree so that doesn't look like it was cut out there. There you go, nice little cloud effect. Um, real quick, real easy, two minute tutorial. Come back for more, Mike Agliola for Student Stock. See you soon.